Prosecutors in the trial for the doctor accused of tainting IV bags work today to provide a motive for his alleged crime. They claim Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz suffered financial trouble and they brought a former office manager to the stand. Fox Wars' Lori Brown is live in Dallas with the story. Lori. Clarice, prosecutors worked to show that Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz's two businesses were losing money, putting him in a desperate situation as his privileges were once again in question. Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz had an expensive lifestyle. This is 2022 video of Ortiz's home in Murphy, valued at $1.3 million then. Court records at the time showed he also owned five luxury cars, including a Corvette and three Mercedes. But he also had financial troubles. Friday, Terry Burson, an office manager for his two businesses, said he owed about $3 million to the IRS. Ortiz's businesses, Assured Medical Billing Inc. and Garland Anesthesia Consultants, provided 20 anesthesiologists or anesthetists. Burson testified that the businesses sometimes struggled to make payroll, and he was working on getting a hospital in Allen. In 2020, Dr. Ortiz relinquished his privileges at Baylor Scott & White Surgicare in Garland. The jury did not hear why. We can tell you court records show that Dr. Ortiz did not recognize the patient's inadequate oxygenation and ventilation. The patient had to be resuscitated with CPR. In May 2022, records show a similar incident happened at the Baylor Scott & White Surgicare in North Dallas. A patient stopped breathing under Dr. Ortiz's care prompting the surgical center to conduct a review. Former U.S. Attorney Paul Coggin says the government is working to establish a motive for Ortiz putting dangerous drugs into IV bags, an attempt to save his privileges by trying to show emergency situations happen to a lot of doctors. It's not the most direct motive evidence you could ever find. I mean, direct motive evidence would have been if they could have shown, for example, the defendant had a grudge against, you know, and, and targeted a particular patient to go after a patient for a particular reason. That been stronger, but that doesn't appear to have happened. The government doesn't have to prove motive. When the judge charges the jury, he's not going to charge them. You have to find the motive. If you find that the defendant did the act, did it intentionally, uh, and it caused the harm that you heard about, that is the violation. A financial expert testified that Ortiz's business dropped from a gross revenue of $9 million in 2017 to $4 million in 2021. But the defense worked to show Ortiz's income from that business did not drop as dramatically. It went from $3.2 million in 2016 to $1.7 million in 2020. The trial will not resume until Tuesday due to some logistical issues. A friend of Dr. Melanie Kaspar, the doctor allegedly killed by one of the tainted IV bags, told me that she was making plans to watch the total solar eclipse five years ago. Clarice. Lori Brown live outside of the Earl Cabell Federal Building. Lori, thank you.